Hi girls. So um, this is just a quick intro because I forgot to film it for the other one because I was trying to kick out that second video. Um, but this is just a quick intro to this video that you're about to watch. Um, sorry, I'm like in my uniform garb right now. <laughs> so I'm about to take off for work, um, but I'm going to edit this really quick and um, post it up so you guys got something to watch because I haven't posted up something for a while. Um, basically this isn't my everyday foundation routine though FYI um, before you guys watch this this is not something I do every day this is how I do it if I use this particular foundation so this is a requested video from a fellow subscriber who had asked me to show her um, like what brush I use and how I apply it it's a very simple video so don't expect anything you know like fantastic or anything <laughs> but I do mention like a couple tips that I have when I do my actual foundation routine video, um, I'll give you guys more info. But for now, this is just a video to show you how I apply this particular foundation. And it's the Revlon Color Stay. If I keep sniffling, I'm sorry. I have the sniffles right now. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. Um, I used to use a Smashbox photo, Smashbox photo Finish Light, but I just it doesn't work for me anymore. So I just kind of spread this across my face. I put it mostly in my T-zone. That's where I get oily the most. And then I put anywhere I put it anywhere where I'm going to apply concealer. I'm kind of mad right now because I barely ever break out. Ever. Okay. It's that time of the month. And this happened? Motherfuck. You can conceal now if you want. Like if you use color correctors, which I don't have right now. But I would use a color corrector to kind of tone down the redness a little bit. It's not like superbly bad, you know what I mean? It's nothing my normal concealer can't con conceal. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I take my Revlon Color Stay. I hate that it doesn't have a pump, by the way. And you could put this on a palette, you could put it on the back of your hand, but I think it's a waste of product if you put it on the back of your hand. So I just put a little on the cap go like that roll it so it doesn't like spread everywhere <sighs> so since I'm not concealing first I'm going to conceal after because I usually conceal the dark circles a little bit um, I think that if you conceal I think that if you conceal um, before you put your foundation I think it defeats the purpose of using like a lighter concealer under your eyes but you can put color correctors. That's what I suggest you do. Like if you have redness, if you have pimples, I will put your color correctors first before your foundation so that it kind of evens out. Don't put it after because it can it can look a little cakey. So as you watched, like I was like sitting here stippling a little bit. This is a brush I use, by the way. This is my Sonia Kashuk Synthetic Flat Top. I love this brush, by the way. Um, I used to use a stippling brush. But then because this foundation dries really, really fast, it just like, it like kind of starts to like tug on my skin a little bit and I don't really like that. So I stopped using, um, I stopped using the Stippling 187 for this, this foundation. Like I still use it with the MAC foundations, but I just don't use it with this specific one. It just doesn't work as well for me. So as you can tell, it just basically evened out my skin tone. My skin, in my opinion, I mean, you guys might disagree. In my opinion, it's not that bad. I just have, like, a little bit of, like, I have freckles a little bit. And I have, like, you know, every now and then I'll get those pimples. And for some reason, my cheeks, like, here, tend to be a little bit lighter than the rest of my face. So part of the reason why I use foundation is just to even out my skin tone. So if you can tell, it's not a huge difference. You know what I mean? Like, it just evens it out. So I typically only use foundation on like bad skin days, which in my opinion is also kind of bad for you because you know you're if you're like if you're like super breaking out and I, I know that you girls like really want to sit there and hella cover it, but it can be bad for your skin because you know you're trying to let your skin heal and it's like it doesn't get to breathe. So I would suggest if you're in the middle of a healing process, um if you really need the coverage, I would just mix your foundation with a little bit of moisturizer and kind of turn it into like a full coverage tinted moisturizer, if you know what I mean. 
that way you get the coverage you want but it's not like super super rich because the emollients in most foundations are are some ingredients that can really really break you out in my opinion it also depends on your skin though so I just blended into my hairline and then of course you want to blend your jawline you saw me earlier I was like this you want to blend into your jawline you don't want to you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask ladies okay that is not cute if you girls want to try this foundation and you haven't and you've heard good stuff about it it's an amazing foundation it's one of the cheaper brands that I will continue using the only reason why I don't use it a lot is because again my skin is sensitive and it breaks out this wasn't from a foundation though like this breakout wasn't from a foundation okay so there you go basically that's it I work it around my nose you gotta get into the crevices if you want to use a foundation brush to get around your nose to blend you can do that too sometimes I use like the leftover on the cap to just kinda like blend the rest just so that it doesn't go to waste I use it to like kinda spot spot cover some of the problem areas a little bit around my eyes I don't put too much around my eyes because that's normally where I put under eye concealer and I don't want it to look super cakey yeah that's it pretty simple I don't spend that much time doing my foundation I don't do this every day again so that's what it looks like after the foundation so this is the reason why I wait till after the foundation is on to finish doing my face because um, I don't want to over conceal something and then it looks super fucking obvious and plus you want to put it on your face so that you can tell what else you need to cover so I'm all up close if you can tell it really took down the redness but you can still kind of see it because you know it's lifted away from your face color correctors diminish that just so you guys know so if you guys have color correctors it kind of, the the reason why they're color they're colored is it, it like makes it like kind of recede like it doesn't look as like it doesn't stick out in other words so that's part of the reason why okay I by the way too when I'm putting concealer like this the only reason why I'm putting it straight on me is because it's mine and I don't put it directly on the pimple either I put it near it and then I just blend it in so and this is my MAC um, Select Moisture Blend, which is almost gone. It's part of my Project 10 Pen, which you'll see a video about soon. And then I just blend it in with a 190 or any foundation blush. Brush. Blush. Brush. And I just kind of see. So now you can really hardly see it, right? Ta-da! That's the reason why we conceal after. Okay, so you just want to go ahead and just keep blending, blend, blend, blend. Voila. And there you go. So you can still see it, but it's not red. So it's like you can see the lift of the skin, but it's like not red. And that's what I prefer. Like I don't mind if, you know, I mean I'm not going to cry about it. It's going to be gone in like two days. But I just don't want people to see how red it is. You know, because it's like, bam, crater. So the next thing I do is I set my face, my face, that's my term for it, you want to set your face in place. Um, I use my SS182 Kabuki, so I use my Makeup Forever HD powder, I used to use the MAC Prep and Prime, but when I found this, hmm, yeah, you saw my other haul video, fuck that Prep and Prime. So I just swirl it in the cap. okay so that's basically it I just buffed this in now you guys are probably gonna ask me she didn't conceal under her eyes like she said she would the reason why I didn't do it is because I feel like I have enough coverage now say I didn't sleep and I was like looking super dead then I would do it like I would I usually do the V to kind of lift up the eyes I'll do that in another video this video is strictly for application for the Revlon color today but if I were to do that, like say I was having a bad, like I had a bad night or I'm hungover or some shit and you know your circles and your bags are looking fucked up, then what, what I would do is I would continue to, you know, conceal with a lighter concealer 
but since I feel like I have enough coverage I'm not gonna worry about it today so that's it um, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face <laughs>